Welcome to From the Helm Boating Broadcast, where we take a deep dive into the Galleon Owners Rendezvous and a love so deep for a brand that you'd follow us all the way to Atlantis in the Bahamas. Check it out. We're here at the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas hosting the fourth annual Galleon Yachts Owners Rendezvous. Couldn't be more excited to spend this time with our customers. It's an honor to welcome you. It's an honor to host you. We're on a trip of a lifetime. Smooth sailing, Maybe. good friends, yeah. new friends. Cheer, cheers. Welcome to From the Helm Boating Broadcast with Maureen Max, bringing you the latest news and notes in the world of boats. I'm here today with Bob Burt, Galleon Brand Manager, and we just got back from an amazing trip. It was an amazing event, and you can see how much fun everybody had on it, so it was, uh, it was really cool. It was exciting to, to be a part of it. All right. So any of our audio listeners that are joining us on a podcast platform, I know we could you couldn't see that, but on the Marie Max YouTube channel, you can find Recapping the 2022 Galleon Rendezvous from Atlantis is the title of that video. We'll also have it linked in the transcript from today's episode on the Marine Max Lifestyles blog at www.marinemax.com. So anybody that's watching it visually got a taste of like a, a four day trip basically in, in the Bahamas. Um I'd like to back up a little bit and start with how are you the guy that gets to put these trips together? What does being a brand manager mean to you? Right. So it's uh, it's interesting that we we've gotten to this point where we're able to have a rendezvous in uh, the Bahamas where during our welcome remarks, I actually commented that one of the goals when we started the brand was to sell enough boats to have a rendezvous period. Right. right? So you need, you know, not everybody's going to be able to attend and it's timing and it's location. And there's a lot of things that go into it. So in order to have, have a rendezvous, you've got to have you know, 50, 60 boats out in the, in the field. Well, we're fortunate enough now to have uh, over 350 and um, you know, we've had multiple rendezvous as far as, um, how it's grown it, it started in key west and it was you know a lot of fun and and we started to uh, year after year improve it and then interview the clients that that were attending the events and, mm -hmm. and see what they wanted to do and where they wanted to go and um you know one of the the overwhelming responses was we we want to do a you know a bigger trip we want to do the bahamas um it was always a dream of mine to do that as well and uh, it all came together this year. So it was really, really exciting. That is uh, exciting. And 
When you think about where some of those boats came from, I know there was a big group that came from Fort Myers. So they ended up starting their journey a couple of days earlier. And I think they actually went on to do a couple more islands in the Bahamas, right? Yeah, that's correct. They did uh, a total, the total trip for them was about 18 days, if I'm, if wow. I'm right. So it was three, yeah. three or four days to get over. They had four, four days in, in Atlantis and Nassau. And then they went on uh, to, for another six days or so they obviously it takes a few days to get back but you know on the way they they stopped in marathon uh chub key uh the atlantis and then they went further down to eleuthera and some other places um harbor island so that trip uh really was amazing for everybody involved i think there was nine boats in total right. that were were on that trip so i've talked to uh couple of the guys that were leading that trip and they just said it was unbelievable the customers they have a group chat going and some of the customers are still you know talking about it sharing pictures recapping it so um i mean that's what it, that's what we do this for yeah um, is to to and as you watch that video you see everybody smiling how much fun they're having i mean and, and so really ask about what the brand manager is it's kind of a dream job to facilitate all of this uh this fun for our, our customers at the end of the day. It's extremely demanding. We, we do a lot with, you know, customer service. Oh, of course. Supporting the boats and everything else. And then obviously uh, we've got to get all these boats built and shipped over here uh, to the spec that people are, are looking for. So there's a lot of challenges and demands to it, but the, the reward comes with an event like we just, uh, we just had in Atlantis. And what type of boats made the crossing? Because that's not the easiest run. You know, you're you lose sight of land at some point. So, got to feel secure with your team, with your crew that you're running over we, with. We had boats from 42 feet was the smallest up to 68, which is 72 feet overall length. So, um, which is actually the boat behind me here is 68. Oh. Um, so we had quite a, a nice representation of the the different models that. That, that we offer. So you had, you know, there's 42 on the screen now. Um, awesome boat, really good at sea. And uh, we have uh, 470 skies there. We had 500 flies there. We had 650 sky, 640 flies. We had a really nice uh, representation of the model line. It was almost like a galleon boat show. We actually yeah. had, we had galleon owners that have, you know, there was a couple boats that came through there that were like, what the heck is going on? I, you know, that, that weren't part of the event and uh, must not, you know, they bought pre-owned boats that weren't on our mailing list and we've mm -hmm. since put them on our mailing list so that they know about it next year. They're like, we want to be a part of this. So um, really cool stuff. And I know from, from our standpoint, you know, we put everything together, all the logistics from the customer standpoint, what do they really have to, you know, uh, really, it's just kind of signing up. We take you step by step through the islands, making reservations. We make it really seamless for them to, you know, have a 19 day trip to the Bahamas. Yeah. So the 19 day portion was uh, one of our store getaways combined with the, the Galleon Rendezvous. So there's uh, there's multiple things that had to happen for, for that. And that's really what Marine Max delivers for our customers. Mm -hmm. You know, we put on the four day event and the three day event in the Bahamas was four days, you know, getting there and get back and all that stuff. But the um, it, it's pretty much sign up and, you know, there's a nominal fee. We fund a lot of it through sponsorships and partners with our, you know, partnerships with our, our, our vendors and component part manufacturers who are uh, gracious enough to support these types of events. Cause ultimately, you know, the customers buying their product at the end of the day. So they understand right. the value of the partnership that we have. They support us financially for these events, but they also support us as importantly with technical support parts and things like that. So um, it's really important to the customer experience to have the support of the component parts within the boat that, that we don't manufacture right. uh, at Galleon or, you know, that the, the you know, engines and air conditioning and all those sorts of things. We need that support. And, uh, it's really, really exciting to, to have it. And uh, it, it makes the customer ownership experience much better. So uh, with that, yeah, you for you want to join one of these events, you sign up for it and 
you get yourself there and, and, yeah. we, and we do that with uh, with groups so that your safety in numbers and we organize we've organized a couple flotillas you had the west coast group and the east coast group and everybody got there and from there on in it's you know have as much fun as you want to participate as much as you want to you get out what you put into it and oh yeah uh, You'll see here, I guess we're going to probably ask or talk about the uh, the cocktail competition, the Amazing Race, some of the fun stuff that we did. And everybody really participated and made it uh, made it really exciting. Yeah, and it was definitely all hands on deck. Um, I think having the sponsors there was really great because I know I saw the guys from Bovo Penta walking up and down the docks, talking to people. Uh, you know, when you do a run like that, there are you're bound to hear something. You're bound to see something. I just did a road trip and I'm looking at my car. I'm like, I need this. I need this. I need to do this. You kind of make that list in your head of things that you wish you would have done or you didn't know you needed to do before you set out on that trip. And we had all the people there right when the customers got there and they said, you know, Hey, I, I wish somebody would look at this. They're like, Hey, let's send a guy over there. It's amazing. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and our service and support team is invaluable. We had uh, 150 years of experience of technical and service support on site to, uh, to support the boats and, and especially those that were going further down island. Uh, okay. Really, I think really the feedback was they really appreciated it. I know, you know, as as we were untying some boats to to, to move on, there was a couple of things that had to get done, and uh, you know, we had the team there, we had the parts there, we made it happen, and uh, and they got to enjoy the the next leg of their trip. So, um, can't really value that enough. It's it's hugely important. Yeah, definitely. Thank you to them. Uh, one of the sponsors, Dometic Outdoor, they donated two coolers that were used as raffle items, not raffle items, but prizes for two of the different contests. Yeah. Um, so let's let's get in. So let's get into the, the list of activities. So day one, everyone gets there. They check in. They get their amazing gift bags. This is chock full of, of cool, you know, we had their, there was sunscreen, obviously there was a shirt that everybody got so we could all match on the day we did their amazing race. Yeah. They're um, going for big money on eBay right now. Those shirts are <laughs> high demand. I, I bet they are. I bet they are. There's a great resale market for the 2022 Galleon Owners Rendezvous. Lim long limited edition. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the kickoff cocktail celebration is really the first opportunity. Everyone gets together. We have cocktails, it's all the staff, all the sponsors, um, a lot of families on this trip. And I remember meeting some of the younger, younger people, you know, that were cruising with their parents on day one versus the last day at the Yacht Gala. And they were like completely out of their shell, like day one, super reserved and just kind of like, hello, good to meet you. You know, day four, we're out dancing together and they're like, oh, my God, this is the best. So right. you could see some of that. Um, but tell me a little bit about that cocktail the kickoff cocktail celebration, because you did some opening remarks and that's really the first point of contact that everyone has together. Yeah, well, it's important to get everybody together to welcome them and uh, make sure that, you know, they're one that we didn't leave anybody behind. And fortunately, we <laughs> had everybody there. Everybody yeah. made it. In fact, we did have one uh, group, or one family that didn't make the cocktail or sorry, the, the welcome reception because they were having too much fun snorkeling on their <laughs> way. They stopped literally on the way and found a little island and, and they were snorkeling and they showed up at like 10 o'clock at night with the boat <laughs> and they uh, we saw them the next day. So um, but in general, yeah, you get everybody there. And uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, we had it's the meet and greet and everybody gets familiar with each other, understands what's going to happen over the mm -hmm. next few days. And as you're seeing here, we had uh, this is part of the amazing race that happened the next day. And, yep. you know, we had a breakfast and everybody got together, put their shirts on and, and went out and competed um, to, for this for the Dometic coolers that you just talked about. So it was uh, it was a really good time. It was a lot of fun, a lot of uh walking which we, we got some feedback and we really appreciate the surveys from from the customers we sent out to you um we really appreciate if you're watching this to fill out a survey and let us know what you thought we do know that that was a heavy day of activity on friday with the amazing race and the cocktail competition um so maybe we'll have a, a day at the adults only pool and a and a uh and a, <laughs> 
off island excursion, uh, you know, with snorkeling and such for for families if uh, if they choose to do that next year, and it'll be a little more relaxing. Yeah. Um, but that being said, everybody competed on this stuff, and they were, you know, it was it was pretty serious. It was fun. It was a lot of fun, and they were really competitive. Uh -huh. They were running around, and you're you're you're. I would think I was over twenty thousand steps every single day. That Atlantis for anyone who's never been is a, a huge property. It's a city within a city. Yeah. And oh, there I am enjoying myself, <laughs> walking around on the docks. Um, you know, you got to have fun. But it was it was a lot of fun, and I was surprised by how competitive people were with Amazing Race. I was more surprised with how competitive they were with the cocktail challenge that we we had going on. So we had this mix and mingle dock hop on uh, day two after the Amazing Race. Everybody went back to the boats, got cleaned up, got prepped for this cocktail challenge where we walked around and we tried everyone's cocktails, but we also conducted a couple of christenings. Um, I mean, that's, I don't know why a christening is a little emotional for me. I don't know. What are your thoughts on the christening? Well, it is, it's, it's, uh, you know, you're bl basically blessing the boat and the people on it and praying that they stay safe while, while they're, you know, at sea. Right. So yeah, it's a, it's a cool thing. And you get to crash a bottle on the, on the boat and, you know, toast to your friends. And it was, yeah, it was really exciting to, to be a part of that. And we had uh, some new boats there and some new owners. So we, we thought it was appropriate. And then, yeah, it kind of led right into um, the cocktail competition, which, yeah, that was pretty, pretty intense. And, you know, I think next year we're going to need uh, fire trucks and, and IVs for sure. <laughs> <laughs> based on what we saw this year and uh, yeah, that's you know, i don't know photo. maybe we may have to somehow uh, pair it back and, you know i don't know it was, it was way way above and beyond so we thank all of you who participated in that we couldn't thank you enough you, you went above and beyond for sure we hoped it would it would be something just uh, a little bit fun for you know to to create a social environment for everybody but man it, it was it was serious and it was fun and everybody took it, you know, custom glasses, custom cups, custom yeah. decorations and prizes and all sorts of stuff were going on. And, you know, it was it, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, the group uh, I was running around with the, the photo video crew talking to people, too, at the same time, just kind of getting some customer interactions. And man, everybody was having a great time. I know we, we ran them around for the amazing race, but once they got back to the boats and we were doing cocktails and being social. Yeah. And I think that's, that's part of that whole crowd is they loved to invite people on. Like, this is my boat. Come look. Mm -hmm. I made this drink named after my boat's name. And it was just this fun. You got to learn really about every single group that was on that trip. Yeah. And that, we, I think, are really blessed to have amazing, an amazing group of people that are welcoming and social and uh, they want to share and they want to make new friends and, and really just enjoy life. And that's what this is all about, right? Mm -hmm. It's not everybody is fortunate enough to be able to do this. And right. if you are and you share it, it's it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Absolutely is. So um, if anybody ever has a chance to go on a rendezvous or um, even on a Marine Max getaway, which is not brand specific, but kind of similar concept, you get a flotilla together, you go together to a destination, you enjoy the destination and meet each other and share your love of boating and come back. It's, it's incredible. Um, all right. So after we, you know, ran them around the island, fed them booze. We gave him day off. <laughs> so Saturday they had their pass to play and that actually included uh, a $250 credit for each person who had registered, which was a, quite an amazing gift. Uh, and that's again, thanks to the sponsors and everybody who contributed there. I know people went to Dolphin K, saw the dolphins, did some adventures in the water parks, maybe just took naps on their boat. <laughs> well, there was, uh, you know, you had the pools. There's a lot of, uh, there's some really nice pools at that property. So, um, yeah, people, I think, took took the day and really relaxed and enjoyed. And you have shopping and everything else that, that's part of that. Yeah. Um, the Marina Village and, um, like you said, the dolphins. Um, and then, yeah, the water 
park and the water the water activities there. So there's a lot to do, and um, there's there's some good. It was a good day to to have some downtime and relax. So oh yeah, but then again, we kicked it up at night. <laughs> the ruby red gala under the star. Well, we didn't do it under the stars, but we had that great room. Um, so this is the final night. And it's celebrating the 40th anniversary anniversary of Galleon Yachts. And you can see we, we had this great location. I mean, we haven't really mentioned the fact that most of our events that were inside, we were right next to the giant aquarium. So yeah. you just see like a shark swim by every once in a while. And for a bunch of boaters, th that wall was, the walls were hypnotizing. You'd catch groups of people just standing there watching fish. Yeah, no, it's it was a lot of fun and, and that that is the magic of, of Atlantis is you have that aquarium uh, as a backdrop to we, for our welcome ceremony, for our breakfast. Um, we had the Junkanoo band, as you see here inside. Yes. It was a little bit loud, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they were they were quite amazing. And, uh, you know, I think they were maybe in either attracting the fish or, or scaring the fish away, but they... <laughs> For sure, for sure, the fish were were there later uh, during the during the dancing portion of the evening, mm -hmm. and um, I saw one of our people went and literally stood up next to the aquarium, and all these fish came. <laughs> so they wanted a somebody was taking a picture of them standing up against the aquarium, and all these like tarpon came right up to them. I was like, holy cow! Really, yeah, you know, really cool. So, oh yeah. No, that was a, a great, uh, I have never seen the Junkanoo before. So again, I got emotional. I mean, it was so perfect of a moment because the gala started off really kind of low key. There was that saxophone player as everyone was arriving and kind of chatting and, you know, recapping what they did that day, having a cocktail before we sat down. And then the Junkanoo came, came in and it changed the energy. It just went from zero, you know, to a, a thousand and yeah. everyone was dancing and it drew a crowd. I looked around for a moment and it was our group. But then above us, the whole railing was full of people taking pictures. There were people that were by the beach that had come up. So we drew a, a huge crowd from Atlantis to see that. It was really awesome. Had you seen them before? The Junkanoo, no, but um, I'm familiar with the Mummers in Philadelphia and they do okay. a New Year's celebration every year. And um in fact, my father-in-law is part of one of the, the string bands, and oh my it's, gosh, it's so amazing cool. that they have very similar uh, these these wild outfits, and uh, yeah. you know, it's very similar to what you see in the Junkanoo, but then they, they take it to another level with props and everything else. Uh, it's really interesting, but yeah, that's that's as close as thing as I've seen to the Junkanoo band, so it's clearly a tradition that's been around a long time. Yeah, I love the shot of you getting down in the recap video. Yeah, I tried to edit that out, but uh, <laughs> no. I was overruled. <laughs> that was, I, everybody took their turn. There were a few of us that got in there and started dancing. Yeah. I, I definitely got dancing with the DJ too. We had a good crowd. So what was your favorite, what was your favorite moment? If you had to pick one, what would it be? That's a very hard question. I don't even know I can answer. It is a hard question, honestly. I think you know the fact that i've watched the video and looked at the pictures over and over it's there's too many moments i don't have a favorite i just like seeing everybody smiling and happy uh, enjoying themselves because it was you know it was somewhat of a risk for us to take you know and do the event there you know you've right. got to get all these boats there you've got to coordinate it in a you know out of the u.s you requires passports to get there there was mm -hmm. covid restrictions everything else that we had to deal with uh to get there and you know during that process i had complaints from different people staff customers like god oh, this is you know we got to do all this really and we're like yeah it's gonna be worth it trust us <laughs> and uh you know i think at the end of the day it was everybody enjoyed it and uh the results are there with just There's smiles. So I measure it in smiles. So, yeah, I, I'm going to have to agree. Um, I, I don't think I could pick a, a favorite moment. I, uh, I mentioned it earlier, but seeing some of the younger people that were attending the trip uh, kind of come out of their shell was one of my most favorite things because, you know, you know, when you're traveling with your parents and you're kind of younger, you kind of want to do your own thing. 
And I get mm-hmm. that. And you could tell day one, they're like, Ugh, I got to go to this cocktail thing with my parents and my right. parents' friends. I got to meet strangers, you know, not something a teen really wants to do. But then right. by the last day and the gala, like they were like coming and grabbing my hand, like get on the dance floor. And I was like, yes, let's get on yeah. the dance floor. No, that's, so serious that is core memories the, made. That's part of the magic of it is you, you see people becoming friends. They, start doing it year after year. I mean, there's a lot of the group that came have been to two or three, you know, some of all of our other rendezvous. So um, as it grows and you see that camaraderie build uh, and, and, you know, the kids are growing and, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it becomes a lifestyle and that's really what it's all about is, is making sure that everybody's enjoying the boating lifestyle and um, it's second to none. You can't, You can't get that sort of experience anywhere else. Yeah. And I even made some new friends within Marine Max. Um, Amy Nappy, I've met her a couple of times. She was just a rock star. The guys on the trip that were running so hard um, to help fix things and make sure everybody got docked okay. The team you put together to assist with that event was incredible. Incredible group of people. We have we have the best the best here at Marine Max. We really do. We are. It's an honor to work with everybody, and, and uh, you know everybody brings their A game, and uh, mm-hmm. they're here for a reason. And and I think you know uh, when it's time to, uh, to 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 perform, we all step up to the challenge and we we, we get it done. So that's uh, it, it's exciting to work with a group of people that. Failure is not an option, and, right. and we really do everything we can. We put in 110% to, to make sure that uh, we get the job done. So that's exciting. That is exciting. All right, so plans for next year. Have we already talked about where you're going and, and what kind of format you're going to do? We've had a few preliminary discussions, you know, informal with customers at, the, at this event and with our team. We had a meeting earlier today talking about some, some ideas, but uh, we're – we're really waiting to see what the feedback is from mm-hmm. from the, from our clients. So, um, you know, if you're if you received the the survey, please do fill it out because we're we're anxiously awaiting to hear what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to do, and uh, you know, it's really on you to. It's up to you. Tell us, and then we'll we'll go to work and try and make it as as great as we can. Nice. Well, that'll be fun. So uh, just for any potential yacht shopper right now, why choose Galleon? Well, if um, quality and fun are important to you, then you've got a really great brand. So we, you know, obviously we, we have great quality boats that are built in Poland. We've got uh, innovation that is unheard of unlike mm-hmm. any other boat on the market with our our beach mode boats and yep. you know, 640 650 have opening you know uh, bow windshields which is amazing and, and moving seats and some of the innovation and features on the boats are, are phenomenal and they're really well executed um, you know it's one thing to to come up with a a crazy idea, which right. doesn't seem crazy anymore, right? It isn't it? It was it was when people first saw it, but to uh, be able to execute it and have those features work uh, and work well is uh, is extremely important. So, you know, we've got this is a forty on your screen now, four hundred fly, four ten HTC. That's the smallest boats that we offer with beach mode. Of course, the GTO has it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, with the outboards, but on the yacht end, that's the smallest boat that has it. And now and it goes up to uh, 64 feet. So we're, we're bringing these really amazing features uh, down to smaller boats so that they're more accessible to more people. And uh, so the innovation is there, the performance is there, the really solid boats are built well. When we talk about performance, it's really, uh, you can get an extra knot or two out of a boat by taking all of the weight out of it but then it becomes mm-hmm. what I call flexible flyers. You got these boats that really don't have any substance to them. And ultimately the sea is very rarely flat. <laughs> so you want a boat that has a little bit of weight to it. And right. um, the beauty of Galleon is they're built really solidly. 
um, and they'll do, you know, our, our cruising average cruising speeds, 25 knots, and they'll do that in, in some, you know, less than ideal conditions on a regular basis. So, um, that's the performance. And then, you know, the craftsmanship and the quality that we talk about all the time, that's mm-hmm. you know, pretty evident in the boats is, is that old world European, uh, craftsmanship and quality that comes from, from, you know, the, the Polish trades and, uh, the carpentry and, the, and these, uh, there's a long history of shipbuilding in, in Poland. A lot of people don't realize it, but they built a lot of big ships there. They built yeah. a lot of, they were doing it for, for centuries. So the, uh, the pride in their, their craft and the actual execution of it is, is amazing. So you get custom boat quality in a production boat, which is you know, pretty rare. It's a good, that's a, that's Twitter worthy custom boat mm. quality and in a production boat. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, so uh, next place people can really see the galleon lineup together. Is that going to be Fort Lauderdale Boat Show or is there an opportunity before that? Uh, Yeah, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show is the next big event where we'll have uh, all the boat, you know, as many boats as we can get together. Um, you know, in today's environment with little or no inventory, it's been very difficult to show boats. So, um, we plan right now we're working with the show on the layout and we're planning to have, uh, eight boats there. So yes. depending on what we can fit and, uh, within our space and everything else, we'll, we'll have a different mix of, you know, uh, of the boats from the, and we, and we actually have several launches planned. The new 440 fly that was recently announced will, uh, We'll have yes. there. We intend to have that there. 375 GTO. We intend to have there. There's a chance we'll have an 800 fly there. We're not Ooh. sure if we will, but uh, we would love to get that there. We were hoping to have it at the rendezvous. It was on a ship at the time, so um, yeah. you know, it's uh, that's a flagship for for the brand. Uh, so that's exciting. And then there's a uh, another model that we haven't really announced yet that we may be debuting in Fort Lauderdale. So there's, there's some exciting stuff uh, to talk about. And uh, okay. uh, I would say if you have any interest in, in boats or, or in galleon at all, um, come to Fort Lauderdale, you get a very good sense for what the brand is all about. And you'll likely meet some customers you may have seen in the pictures and the videos today because yeah. they often show up to the shows as well. So uh, it's a, it's a great, great place to to meet people and to Mm -hmm. learn about the brand and see the product all in one place. Yep, absolutely. Definitely recommend that. But if you can't get to Fort Lauderdale, there's always uh, the website that we've been pulling up is galleonyachts.us. You can also go to either the Marine Max or Galleon YouTube channels. Um, I know we have a ton of boat walkthroughs. The very famous, the infamous, I should say, the 325 GTO by Bob Burke himself is a great video and takes you through uh, there's 325 from from out of stern, pretty pretty well too. Yeah, that was uh, that was a fun fun video to do. I never expected it to get the, the views that <laughs> it has. It's, you know, it's 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 actually shocking to me. I'm I'm at uh, the boat shows now, and people are you know coming up to me and saying, hey, we feel like we know you. We've watched the video. We ordered one, and you know, do you mind if I get a picture with you?" I'm like, "Absolutely, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for ordering one. Thank you for." watching the video that is so sorry cool. if you had to watch it twice then you know i hope you <laughs> muted it because i don't know if i could watch myself that long but uh, <laughs> it's uh no it's 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 really a kind of an honor to, to have people that excited about yeah. the, the product and um, i i actually had a couple people um at the rendezvous i like went to go introduce myself and one of the ladies was like yeah we know who you are i was like what <laughs> She's like, oh, we watch your videos. It's like, oh yeah. my gosh, thank you. Yeah. So wow. that was pretty cool. It's a cool feeling, right? Yeah. Well, it's you know we're we're in an interesting position to be able to, um, you know, mm-hmm. I guess provide information about something that people are passionate about. It's their pleasure. It's what they want to know more about. So, mm-hmm. you know, I've never been one to to embrace video and all this sort of stuff but you <laughs> you almost uh you need to and you know it's it's important because how else are they going to get the information we can't we can't have a boat show every single day so right 
Exactly. This is, this is this is where you get it. Well, good, good stuff. Excellent event. Cannot wait for the next one. Um, I'm still showing photos to people that you know saw something I posted on on a social platform. They're like, "Tell me about the Bahamas." Like, well, let yeah. me get my phone out. Uh, let's watch this recap video. Um, I can't. I can't wait to do it again. Um, can't wait to meet some more galleon owners. It, it was fabulous, Bob. Good job. No, thank you. You did a great job. They had a great team, and uh, you know, we'll we'll see you at the Fort Lauderdale show. We'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it there. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're perusing the docks at the Fort Lauderdale show, look for Bob. Look for me. We'll be there, uh, getting some opinions and feedback on galleon because it's all. It's like you said. This is why we do it. We don't just talk about boats to talk about boats because you guys love boats and we have the information. I mean, Bob just dropped some probably classified information about the, you know, 375, the 440 and the 800 fly being and maybe another boat too. four, four new boats. at well, the, eight, at the 800, the 800s. Uh, we'll maybe. see. We're, We're trying. crossing our we, fingers. We would love, we'd love to get it there. But yeah, anyway, there is something <laughs> new that will be there. Uh, it's planned to be there. So yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's a long awaited and we'll, we'll maybe put another video out about that when we're ready. Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Bob. Any other final thoughts? Anybody watching this, uh, thinking about maybe joining the Marine Max or Galleon family? Well, you know, we're fortunate enough to be with Galleon and, and working in the, uh, at the sort of yacht end of things um, but in general if you're interested in this and you're interested in boating uh, marine max is unbelievable at uh, taking care of and making sure that your experience is amazing no matter what size boat you buy if you are interested in getting into boating you know we have boats as small as 18 feet we go up to 200 feet so mm -hmm. uh, and bigger than that so um it's a it's a amazing company to to do business with. We care about our customers. We're passionate about what we do, as I think you can see here, and uh, we appreciate the opportunity. Excellent, great final words from Bob Burke, Galleon Brand Manager. Uh, if you have not watched that recap video, please do. It's the the recap of the 2022 Galleon Rendezvous in Atlantis. Again, we'll link that in today's transcript. We'll link a lot of stuff in today's trans transcript. We talked about a couple of different boats. We talked about some locations. So we'll link some stuff at, all found at the Marine Max blog on uh, our website, www.marinemax.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like what you saw, please comment, like, share, subscribe, leave comments. We'd love to hear more from you and suggestions for future episodes. And in the meantime, we hope you enjoy your boating lifestyle. As always, stay healthy, boat happy. We'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of From the Helm Boating Broadcast. To keep up with the latest news and notes in the world of boats, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and wherever podcasts can be heard. Until next time, we'll see you out on the water.